Hey everyone, Ben back from Living Survival and today I wanted to show you this cot that I got off Amazon. It's actually the cheapest cot that I could find on Amazon. It ran me about $41. I believe the current price is $51. Um, but all in all, it's one of the least expensive cots I could find on Amazon. Now there are a lot of different cots in the $50, $60, $70, $80 dollar range. But what I was looking for in particular was one that sat low to the ground because I usually will use this in my hot tent, which has the walls that are sort of triangular. So when I'm sleeping against a triangular wall, I can't have a very high cot. Now one of the other ones I was looking at was the Coleman Trail Cot, I believe it is. Uh, but that one sits a little bit higher and it wasn't going to work for that application. So again, there may be other cots out there at that particular price point. Uh, but for me, I was looking for the cheapest one that I could find that would work in a hot tent. And I think I found it here with the Alps Mountaineering. Uh, this is their barracks cot. So if you want a cot for backpacking, for example, this isn't going to be it. It's pretty heavy. I believe it weighs 9.5 pounds. It is a cot after all. So, you know, someone that's looking for something to go car camping in, in a tent, for example, or for me in the wintertime, when I'm hot tenting, I want something that's going to get me off the ground. But again, I don't want to be touching the sides of my hot tent and this has been working great for me so not only has it worked great for me but it's also the least expensive one on amazon which is great so the stuff sack that it comes in you know just a standard stuff sack it is pretty rugged this is pretty you know heavy duty nylon so i don't see this bag ripping or anything like that um and then the contents inside are basically just the um steel legs for it which you get four of those and then you get the cot uh, surface itself. And you get all the support arms. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to put this together. Um, again, with stuff sacks, it does fit nicely back into the stuff sack. So that's a plus for me. I mentioned in other videos that I hate when stuff sacks don't fit back in their bag once you unwrap them from the factory. So let me go ahead and get this set up and I'll show you guys some more about it. In the package you get six of these frame supports and these go together um, just real easily. Now there are holes for the steel supports. So you are going to want to make sure that all your holes are on the outside. So I'll take that, put a middle section in, and then put the end section in. Now the, you notice these don't clamp together at all, so they do kind of... You know, they will kind of fall apart if you drop this, for example. Um, so that's maybe a little con, you know, to me. But once they're in the cot, it doesn't matter at all that they snap together. It's more of just getting the thing put together um, that that maybe would have been nice. But maybe they couldn't do it for some reason. I don't know. But then you take their uh, next support here. Got to make sure you get your holes all lined up on the same sides. So there we go. We have our two support uh, poles set up just like that. So then you have your pad, which is 600D uh, polyester. So really uh, high quality or really heavy duty. Now this, they say this will hold up to 250 pounds. Again, there, those, there are cots out there that will hold more. Again, this is just a very basic cheap cot that I got to run in my hot tents. Now, one of the big things that I noticed when I read the uh, negative reviews for this were that they couldn't fit the uh, support bars in these little holes. So all along the uh, fabric here, you've got these little holes here. And I did the same thing when I first got it. I tried to feed the poles down one of those holes and then you would get to the end and you just absolutely, no matter how hard you tried, you could not get that other end in because there's just no room for it. But what most people seem to have missed is that on one side, of this uh, cot pad here, there is an opening. So they sewed an opening in here. Now the other side doesn't have it, but instead of putting the pole through the first hole, which is what I did in the beginning, you want to run that pole into that opening there. So you just slide the pole into that opening and then you just slide it the rest of the way down the pad and you'll have no issues that way with the pole fitting in there. Now again, these are not snapped together. So you see that one almost almost coming apart there. So you do have to be a little bit careful with doing that. 
But other than that, it's just a, you know, maybe a mild inconvenience there. But you can see once I have that um, pole all the way in there, then this will just simply uh, tuck in and you have your pole in there. So the first side is done. We just repeat that on the other side and stick that pole right down the side of the cot here. Now sometimes it'll get hung up on these holes, but that's okay. You just help it a little bit and feed it right down. And then again, once you get that all the way down there, this pole just nicely tucks in to the, um, to the fabric on the end. Now the other thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that when you uh, twist this pole in here, that you want those holes to be face up. So, uh, you know, you wanna make sure that they're all on the same side of the bar when you feed it in. Otherwise, you're gonna to have to pull it all the way out and uh, flip it around so that these holes are accessible. Now, once you have your poles inserted, you're gonna take your steel feet here and you just basically uh, tuck them into one of the holes there you find your second hole and then you do kind of have to push you do have to kind of you know push on it to get it to latch in on both sides these are sort of you know a spring here the easiest way to do that is just to stick the one side farthest from you in the hole and then basically tilt the um, cot up and you find your second hole here and then basically just using the ground I'm just gonna push down and I'm gonna stick that leg in the other hole there. And then once you have that in there, that's not really going anywhere because it separates again, or it springs back, and that thing's not gonna fall out. Let me give you a closer look at that. So you stick the one end farthest from you in the hole. Then I like to just take the cot and sort of flip it up so I can get some uh, leverage by pushing down on the ground. I just push down and then pop that in the other hole. So I'll just go ahead and repeat that for the remaining two legs. Pick it up, use the leverage, place it in the other hole there. Far side, push it up, use some leverage, and slide it in the hole. Now one thing right off the bat that I noticed is that these do wiggle a little bit. They're not going to pop out. You know, I can lift this up by these legs and they're not going to pop out. But what you do find out uh, what happens is, is that this cot will rock back and forth just a little bit, which I haven't noticed on any of the other cots I've used. But it's not really a big deal because when you're sleeping on it, you know, you're not gonna rock back and forth like that. Now, if it rocked side to side, I would probably have an issue with that. But when you're laying on this thing, you know, you really don't have any issue with it rocking back and forth, unless you were to sit here and rock back and forth. Side to side, you know, rolling over, you don't have any issue. And even if you did rock, you know, rock a little bit, it's not that big a deal. What I did want to point that out is that you do have a little rocking there. Now I did put this on ice, or I put it on a wool blanket. Didn't have any issues, and you can see how low it is to the ground here. So I didn't have, you know, any issues with this, and it is the perfect cot for my hot tent. Overall dimensions are 30 inches wide by 74 inches long by eight inches high. So again, a lot of the ones that you find will be at least twice that height. That wasn't gonna work for me with the sides of the shelter. So again, this one I bought because it is low to the ground and I had no issues. Throw a pad on there, your favorite bag and a pillow, and you've got yourself a sweet sleep system.